Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh visited the White House today amid controversy over claims that he sexually assaulted a girl when he was in high school. The allegations are now threatening his confirmation. Lawmakers are seeking to delay Thursday's vote by the Senate Judiciary Committee. His accuser is willing to testify publicly about her claims. Kavanaugh, meanwhile, has denied the accusations and says he is willing to talk to lawmakers as well. CBS News Washington correspondent Paula Reed joins us now from the White House. Hi, Paula. What more can you tell us about Kavanaugh's visit today and how the White House is handling these sensitive accusations? So far, we don't know too much about his visit. We don't know who he is speaking with, what they are discussing, or even if he's still here, though we are staking out the exit uh, that he came into. So we'll know if and when he leaves. But earlier today, Kellyanne Conway came out and said she does not believe that Ms. Ford should be insulted or ignored. In fact, she encouraged her to testify under oath on Capitol Hill. She said Kavanaugh should do the same, although she wasn't as specific about him testifying publicly. But it seems if this is the only person who's really come out uh, on the record to give opinions on this uh, for the White House, it appears that it will likely be difficult uh, for lawmakers to try not to delay this hearing. It seems that, or excuse me, the vote uh, on Judge Kavanaugh, because it seems that there is sort of a desire to, to hear people out, to really let all the evidence be revealed and then have a vote. Though attorneys close to the White House and close to the confirmation process say there is no expectation that this nomination will be withdrawn. So, Paula, the president himself, as you know, has faced accusations of sexual misconduct in the past that he has, of course, denied. But does that fact in any way color the way the White House responds to these allegations? Well, a lot of people are referring to the reporting in the recent Woodward book where the president is reported to have told someone in a similar situation, just deny, deny, deny. You can't equivocate on any sort of accusation like this. You have to push back really hard. But we have to be clear here. I mean, the president has numerous accusers. There's, of course, the infamous Access Hollywood tape. There's ongoing litigation. His situation is very different from Judge Kavanaugh. Judge Kavanaugh has this one accuser at this time. Of course, he has denied these allegations. But I don't think we want to say that in any way that Kavanaugh is adopting the president's strategy. Very different situations. And, Paula, I also want to ask you about the fallout from Paul Manafort's de plea deal, which will see him cooperate with the special counsel. The president took a shot at the investigation this weekend, calling it, again, an illegal witch hunt. How is the president's legal team treating the Manafort news? The Manafort news was so surprising because while we knew that he was likely to enter a plea deal to avoid a second trial after his conviction last month in Virginia, it was very surprising to learn that he would cooperate. Now, the president's attorneys tell me that they have no concerns about Manafort cooperating against the president or his inner circle. But if you read the actual legal documents uh, that were presented in court, he has agreed to help the special counsel and other federal investigators with anything and everything that they ask of him. So while they're trying to tamp it down here, it was very surprising that Paul Manafort would agree to cooperate at all because he's already been convicted. He's already likely to spend the rest of his life in prison. His only chance of avoiding that fate was a presidential pardon. And it seems that cooperation, even if it's very narrow, puts that pardon in jeopardy. Now, if he's only cooperating in an aspect of this investigation that has nothing to do with the president, it is possible that he could still get that presidential pardon. But it was very surprising to hear of his cooperation, especially when you see what the judge you know, read to Mr. Manafort. You have agreed to provide anything and everything. That's not a narrow promise. That's not a narrow deal. That is something that would likely concern the president and his attorneys, though the president, interestingly, has not said anything about it so far. Paula Reed at the White House. Thank you.